Top Shot. This is one of my favorite card moves in general. It's uh, credited to a great magician named Leonard Green. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him before. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description box below to one of his performances, and you'll see just how creative and how unique this guy really is. Uh, and he's got a great sense of humor too. But uh, the Top Shot, this is a flourish. It's a great way to demonstrate skill with a pack of cards. It's also a production, you know, it's a really good way to find a chosen card. Um, you know, there's a lot of uses for it, you can think of your own. Let's, let's talk about how to do it. So, the first thing you need to learn is the grip, okay? So normally when you hold a pack of cards, you hold it like this, in a mechanics grip. To do the top shot, you need to change it to a grip like this. All right, so it's a very subtle, but it's an important change. So you're going from here to here, here to here. All right, so let, let's talk about a few of those key differences. Normally, the pack is laying flat on your palm. Well, in the top shot grip, you need to change it so that the left edge of the cards is resting more so on the base of your thumb, kind of like this. And you'll notice that when you do that, you now have some space underneath the pack. Okay, second difference. Uh, normally your thumb is laying across the top of the cards like this. Well now you need to change it so that the thumb is riding across the left edge of the cards and then the very tip of your thumb, just a little bit of your thumb, is contacting the top card of the deck. So it's barely hanging onto that top card right at the corner. All right. And the third key difference is in your first finger. So the first finger normally wraps around the front edge of the cards like this. Well now in the top shot, you're gonna move your first finger to the right edge of the cards. All right, so this is what your final grip should look like. And eventually you'll want to be able to get into that grip with just one hand. You'll want to be able to switch back and forth between these two grips whenever you want. For now, if you're just starting, just grab the deck with your opposite hand and manually put it in that grip and that'll make it easier on you. Okay, so let's let's talk about the actual shooting now. Um, I should mention that this is definitely an advanced move. It's gonna take hours and hours of practice to be able to do it consistently and to be able to do it well. Uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. It's such a cool move and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to do as well. So here, here's what's happening. The first thing you're gonna do is pull down a little bit with your thumb and then you're gonna pull down with your pinky. And this creates tension in the cards. It causes them to flex just a little bit. It's barely noticeable. And then what's happening is with my pinky, I'm flicking downwards. I'm, I'm contacting this top card and I'm flicking downwards. And what that does is it causes this top card to escape the grip from the left thumb. And once it escapes the thumb, the card is gonna flip over it's gonna rotate 180 degrees, and then it's gonna land in my awaiting hand. Okay, so this next shot I'll do in slow motion so you can see exactly what's happening. All right. So let's, let's talk about it in a little bit more detail now. Uh, a really important thing is you really need to have good contact between your pinky and the top card of the deck. So if your pinky is extremely dry, this is gonna be difficult to do. Um, if that is the case, you might wanna lick your pinky a little bit or you know, maybe put some lotion on it. You just need a, a, a little bit of moisture. You need some friction between your pinky and the top card. Okay, and that will help you flick this card out. So when you're first starting to practice, uh, you know, don't worry about catching the card, that'll come later. Just practice pulling the top card so that it escapes the grip from your thumb. So it's almost like a, a Cardini change at this point. All right, but then you need to practice flicking it and then moving your fingers out of the way so that the card continues and flies outwards. Okay, so just practice this slowly at first. Don't, don't worry about speed, don't worry about accuracy or anything like that, just one at a time, practice shooting the cards. And uh, when you're first starting out, you might have to readjust the grip after each shot. You should expect that. Just practice doing this. And you'll notice how it becomes more and more difficult with the less cards you have. So every now and then you're gonna want to 
collect the cards and start with a full deck again. Um, but that's that's my advice on the top shot. You know, keep practicing. Uh, you're probably going to experience a bit of stress and maybe your wrist and your fingers. Uh, it might get sore for a day or two, but that soreness, that discomfort will go away, I promise. Um, so good luck with that. Practice a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.